What's up, family? Um, I just was watching the news and um, I was looking at the news, and uh, I think a woman got, you know, got got mold, you know, mold by a pit bull, and then she died. You know, the pit bull attacked her, killed her. Pit bull. Pit bull attack. Let me say, let, let me tell you about pit bulls. Pit bulls are not bad. Uh, bull terriers, pit bulls, but pit bulls are not bad dogs. I'm gonna tell you what happens. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you in a short period of time, the do's and don'ts, and why these things happen to you know why they attack humans. First of all, the father of the pit bull is the uh, the bull terrier. It's another name for it. Spugs McKenzie. That 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 dog right there has the strongest locks. He's a fighting dog. The little rascals and stuff like that. Snoopy. That dog got the strongest locks, stronger than pit bulls. But let me let me let me let me break it all down to you. Pit bulls, when you fight them, they no good. When you fight them, they get a taste of blood. I used to be around dudes back in the late, I think the late 80s. Yeah, the late 80s. Where I grew up in D.C. They used to um, get meat, get uh, slaughterhouse meat from the warehouse, put it on put it on top of fences. And, you know, they're just getting them ready for panel for a, a fight. And um, they used to uh, let them go. They, 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 you know, jump on the fence, crawl up the fence, and snatch the raw meat down. See, they gotta, you know, when when you have them like that, they no good. That is the only purpose they serve, fighting, and they're vicious. So when you have them for a normal pet, you can't because they already crossed over. They got to taste the blood, and they killing other dogs. And, um, you know, this is back in the days when dudes was out there in the drug trade, you know, hustlers, you know, drug dealers and stuff. That was their pastime. They'd fight their dogs and gamble. And um, the dog that loses, they'd take them in the alley and off the dog. You know, you hear the gunshots, and that's what happened. You know, you know, pump about two shells up in it, up in the dog, and that's it. Animal cruelty at its best. Yes, once upon a time, this used to happen in Washington, D.C., back in the day in Southeast. Yep, I'm giving y'all a little historical lessons here. See, when those dogs are in that arena, when they are trained to kill other dogs for the means of money by their owners, you cannot have them as a normal pet. Because their minds is already fucked up, the dog. Okay, you can't have them around little babies. They might end up, you know, mauling the baby and eating the baby, because the baby is fresh. You know, babies are like they like they, they look at babies like when once they cross over like a little hamburger, like a little like a little roast. You know what I'm saying? That's how they look at them. They look delicious, and there you have it. You know. But then you had the other side. If you had pit bulls, you raise them in a home, you raise them around your children, they protect your children, and they be lovely dogs. But it's when you fight them, when you train them to kill other dogs or train them for security to kill other or hunt people or do, you know, a, like a law enforcement dog, no good. They are not a pet, okay? It's a difference. They are not a pet. And this is why these things happen. And I told y'all, I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm going to tell y'all again. When you have dogs, you do not inbreed them. They're just like, it's like, it's like uh, you don't inbreed with humans. Same way with dogs. It's called incest in humans. When you, when you go into your biological tree, you don't do dogs like that. You don't when that dog when that dog have his first when when that female dog has her first litter, 
the female dog, when they procreate, the male dog and the female dog, when she, when she has her first litter, you don't pose and mix those puppies when they grow up with each other. You're supposed to find every individual puppy. You're supposed to take those puppies and breed them. When they grow up of age, you're supposed to take those puppies and breed them with other dogs that is pit bulls outside of that biological tree of pit bulls. Or you're going to have some retarded-ass dogs, and they're going to turn on you because they're retarded. You don't, that's something about species and human beings and different, different DNA. It's something about just like fish. I ain't know this about fish. Yep. You take those fry, you keep mixing them fries together in the same family, the same fries, the same fish fry. They become one eye, one gill. They become handicapped. You, your fish be born deformed because they come from the same goddamn bloodline. So it's something about, it's something to that. You don't pose to inbreed with no kind of, no kind of living thing. Human, beast of the field, marine life or other, you know, you don't pose to do that shit. Pay attention, y'all. Those dogs, you inbreed those dogs, they come out messed up. They're not right. And they end up turning on you, too. See, they ain't going to tell you this shit. But I'm going to break it down to you. Because I'm tired of people. That's my dog right there. I grew up practically with, you know, you know, boy, you know, boys in the hood. Rockwellers, uh, Dolman Pinchers, Pit Bulls, Bulldogs, Boxers, you know. All, all dogs people want to put down to the ground as vicious and untamed. That's a goddamn lie. It's certain things why they turn out like that. And I just told y'all why. Okay, you got to separate. If you got a fight dog, that's what that dog, that's what it, that's what you use him for or use her for. You cannot, you cannot bring a dog that's already grown, has already been through a couple of scrimmages. You cannot make that dog conform back to a normal pet. It's not a pet no more. It's a killer. Okay, it's a killer. See, that's what happens when people don't know what the hell they know. So, that's that. I hope y'all got something out of this. You know, give me some feedback. Give y'all some knowledge about the canine aspects of life. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the pit bull, bull terrier, and dogs, as far as fighting and why they, you know. And another thing, and another thing before I end this. When you start feeding your dog, when you eat like pit bulls and stuff like that, when you get them raw meat and get them bloody meat, that's a no-no. That's a no-no because that's what they're going to want all the time. Once you get them, once you, once you get them on that, uncooked meat, uncooked chicken, just bloody meat, what's next? If they can't get that, guess what's going to happen? That's goddamn right. So... Certain things, <clears throat> and plus you don't supposed to do that anyway because it's going it's gonna to give them worms, you know. That, you know, it's not like the good old days, you know. You know, that should tell you that, see, even even dogs are telling you the meat ain't good. You know, you, back in the day, you could give dog raw meat and stuff like that. It wouldn't get parasites because that really, that's really what a dog supposed to eat. I mean, but these days, they eat that damn meat couple couple days or two they got damn parasites in their belly and they gotta get dewormed at the veterinarian and shit so i'm telling y'all man it's not a bad dog it's a good dog it's an excellent dog pit bulls are very smart but it's all how you raise them and train them you you gotta remember you can train them to be assassins or you can train them to be a pet. They can't be two. Only it only got to be. They can't be either or. It only got to be one or the other. It's up to y'all. With that, I hope y'all learned something out of here about the pit bulls.